going on guys welcome back to the good old guitar youtube channel i'm your host matt crashiello as always thank y'all so much for being here today we're going to be looking at heading south by zach bryan now this song is one of the first ones he ever came out with uh to my knowledge and it's a great song and it's super easy to play so i hope you guys find this helpful if you do make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll start zooming in and breaking this one down Alrighty, folks, Heading South by Zach Bryan. This is a super easy song to play. I'm just going to go over some of the basics real quick. Uh, for this lesson, we do have a capo right here on the fourth fret of the guitar. Uh, so I will be referring to the chords today as if that was the nut of the guitar. Just keep that in mind. Uh, we're in standard tuning, and we're only going to need four chords to play this entire song. Now we'll get started by taking a look at those. The first one you're going to need is an A minor chord. You're then going to need an F chord. You can play Bard, I believe that's how he's playing it, uh, or you can, you know, also play it whichever way is going to be easiest for you. Uh, we then have a C chord, just your regular C, and we have a G chord. You can play it like that, that. Again, guys, whichever way is the easiest to you. So to continue along, guys, we're going to take a look at our strumming pattern and our chord progression for this song. Uh, now, we're not going to group it into sections because this song does keep the same uh, riff the entire time. So we'll start off by taking a look at this strum pattern for y'all. We've got down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And that just repeats, so. Alright, simple enough, guys. We'll go ahead and add chords to that. Super quick before we get into these chords, if you guys are a big Zach Bryan fan or are just enjoying these lessons, go ahead and make sure to take a look uh, at the Zach Bryan playlist that we have on our channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it. I think you guys would enjoy it. Moving right along into this chord progression, we're going to start on an A minor. We're going to go. All right, so that strum pattern we went over, we're going to be doing that same thing. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up on each of the four chords today. So A minor. And guys, it's not super necessary, but notice um, what I'm doing here if you want to. On that first down strum, uh, each time through, you can try to emphasize a bass note a little bit. So for example, we've got. So instead of, you go. Something like that, guys. Doesn't have to be super precise. Remember, this is a good old guitar channel. We don't really care around here. Uh, anyways, A minor. To an F, to a C, and to a G. All the way through. So some variations we can add into this that I do believe are present on the recording. Uh, are a couple hammer-ons. Again, not necessary, guys. Just if you want to add a little something. So we go. You could do one on the C. You could go. Or just. And then go to the G and do the same thing. You know. Whatever sounds right to you guys if you want to add it that is cool and it'll go right along with the song so guys the last thing i did want to cover when we're talking about this riff we're going to use for the entire song today uh, is to remember that there are verses and choruses in the actual song however the strumming pattern and chord progression don't change like i said there's just some variation there's those hammer-ons uh in the chorus sometimes it sounds a little muted so you could You know, guys, something like that. Totally up to you. Uh, the other thing I did want to hit on is at the end of all the verses, he kind of... You're hanging out on that G um, for a little while to bring about the chorus, even though we don't really change anything about our chord progression. So uh, this will be the end of the verse. This will be kind of what it sounds like right here. Then the chorus. 
again, guys, obviously, as you can tell, it does not have to be perfect. Um, I'm sure you guys will get the hang of this and be playing much better than I am in this lesson. However, we don't focus too much on the small details around here. Y'all know that. We just focus on having fun with it. So I hope you guys did, and I hope you found it helpful, and that should have us covered. And that ought to do it for us today, guys, for our quick lesson on Heading South by Zach Bryan. As always, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the good old guitar channel. Uh, it's much appreciated. Now, if you guys are curious about any of the gear that I use in these videos, it's always going to be linked in the description below for you to go take a look at and check out. And last but not least, guys, make sure to let me know in the comments section which songs or lessons or artists or anything that you guys want to hear us try to do a lesson on, and I'll try to get it knocked out for you. So thanks again for being here, guys, and I'll see you next time.